so guys how are you doing how are you doing welcome back to the channel um i just thought i would do a channel update because my internet is expired so if if there is anyone who wants to pay for me internet my numbers um are in the description you could just hit me on whatsapp and then we talk about it because i don't have money to pay internet as per now but anyway i wanted just to do a channel update to tell you why we have not been live streaming and the the kind of programming that we are going to change and the way we're going to do the programs because I'm, I'm changing it it's not going to be um only uploads i think i'll do one or two uploads on a daily basis and two or three live streams so everybody who wants to live stream with me everybody who wants to give their opinions call in live that option is back that option is going to be back uh, but like i said the problem now is my internet i have issues with internet um, subscription as well as StreamYard. so anyone who wants to help me with that StreamYard um, internet as simple you know it's as simple as hitting me on whatsapp and then we can talk about it but the main reason as to why i'm doing this video is the channel update because and i want to first thank these people people who have stood with me even without live streams because um uploads have this you know i, I was not used to uploads I, I think for the past five months or eight months before january we were used to live streams and everything was moving fine and you know you could call in give me opinions and and, and talk about wherever you want but what actually happened is i used the clip from uh, i think the premier league uh, in january and i received a copyright strike so with the copyright st copyright strike came a ban that i couldn't live stream for three months so that is it i i, I think some of you saw that highlight um i think the west brom game we played uh i think we beat west of west brom was it five um the key and tn is scoring and that was the day i received that copyright strike um and ever since then i couldn't live stream now um good news the live streams are back we could we can live stream now uh and and, and i'm just excited to listen from you people and get your opinions and you know get to know what you think about all the situations that we are going through it has been a rough season one of the one of the toughest seasons i think if you know a football club like Arsenal can never go through this is it you know we are ninth we are losing games we have lost more games than we have won points are not coming in we, we you know there, there is no hope for silverware the quality of players is is, is 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 alarming the manager we have is is, is not a guarantee look you know are there, there are times when you just think like, you know, feel like everything is going so wrong um at this football club but one of the things i really like is you people continue to support these you know fan based channels however much you know the club is you know doing poorly um and that's something great and i i really do appreciate so i'm going to just send my shout out to these people they have done a great job to keep me um alive through this period and i will never forget you guys even when we go back to um the live streaming days i'll offer my regards i will do my um i'll start my shows with giving a shout out to all those people who take their time and tell me what they think um about us no about the channel about me as a person because for me that really means a lot so joseph hre this uh, this is the la latest video we did um the last video i i, I uploaded um about Mikael Arteta, and i shared my thoughts uh, joseph Chari said it's time for Ateta to go and let Korwenka also hand over to tangote um and we see i did reply um thank you for the comment um and i just think by the way if if, if you get a man if you get an owner like dangote there is no way mikalate is going to stay at this football club because what he's going to do is you know he's going to invest his money there and then you either do the job right or you leave so i think the reason that's why if you have edu ateta vina it's it's Karwenke. so you're right and and, and I, I i share your opinion i wanted to do um a dangote in Karwenke out uh live stream but internet just you know ruined everything um Kojo, no, no, he said, I totally share your position, and the earlier uh, Ateta goes, the better. 
um, for all. Yeah, definitely. For me, you know, I, I, I believe that. I believe it. Because if you're going to run a low budget, then you need someone who can run um, a low budget team. You know, they, they are there. We've seen, you know, we've seen clubs like Leicester City. Leicester are not splashing hundred, hundreds and hundreds of millions um, around, but because they know they have someone like Brendan Rogers who understands the idea of running a low budget club. You know, you need those managers. I don't know why we just can't get Brendan Rogers. I, I don't know. I don't know why we can't try the, you know, such managers. Because for me, they, you know, they know what the truth is about running a low budget club. You're gonna get Tillemans for you know for less than thirty million and make him, you know, that high profile player and then fight to keep him. That's all you have to do. Um okay, uh Galad Galadima AY says um said thank you, Kosi. Uh, thanks for watching as well. To Subira Samuel said, I agree with you, we need a new manager, bro. Um and then I I, I gave you a reply there. Um Rafael Chalo say true Arsenal need a new manager and uh, an experienced manager. You know, I, I may not work with experience. I may not, you know, fight for experience because you know, if you're going to get in someone with experience, for, for example, Carlo Ancelotti, then he might ask for a rebuild like Everton gave him and Arsenal not willing to splash that much, um, you know, in one single summer. Um, and of course, you know, someone with, uh, with, with experience is, is going to ask for, you know, money to build that reputation around themselves uh, and the club we are not re ready to splash that money but if you brought in someone like uh, brendan rogers um he's been at liverpool he's been at leicester city he's been at, uh, at celtic he's been at swansea i think he's he's traveled enough he's traveled enough and i think that's the experience actually you, you're, you're talking about brendan rogers you're not going to pay him millions and millions of money um he understands he's, you know he's going to get that money um that little money and he's gonna work with that walk away with that and then you're gonna give him if you give him an upgrade from vadi to abameyang you give him an upgrade from um from madison uh probably f to 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 a martin odegaard from 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 a wilfred Didi to thomas Partey, you know He's going to receive some upgrades in there. You know, you have players, players like Gabriel Magales. Yeah, you know, it, it works out. It works out. Um, Mugume Bernard says, because I, I said from the day one, that, uh, and I will shout out, it will, um, it, until I see him out, he's not a coach for such a club. Yeah, like, you know, managers learning on the job, that's their problem. That's their problem. You've got to give them a lot of time. You need to be a lot of, you know, a lot more patient. Um, they fall down you wait them you know you wait for them to come back because many people think and, and this is the problem i think many people see Mika Wateta as someone who's building something this season that is going to happen next season and because i told you in the last video that he's not going to go away and and you're going to see the next season that we will lose games courtesy of not having a, a starting lineup courtesy of not having um um you know that consistency it's, it's going to happen and the reason of you know for that is we have ha we are having a manager that is not actually um, experienced at that. He's learning on the job. He's tr you know he's still trying out Chambers, Bellerin, and and and, and Ceballos on a daily basis, match day in, match day out. Um, he never gets his tactics right. He never gets his uh, lineups right because he's still learning. I, this is not Derby County. Um, and thank you, Bernard. By the way, thank you so much, Bernard. I, I really love, I, I really love your, your your commitment, and I really love uh, the way you've been committed to this channel. I think it's now we are, it's now we are, and Bernard, you've been there, um, and David Lungu. They are, you, you, some of the people that I, I can, you know, just uh, you know snap my fingers, and then I know uh, David Lungu, you know, Mugume Bernard, Mahit, those people, they've been there. Um, Alex Kierma, you said, I want to um, I wanna ask you something, Kosi. Suppose when you, uh, we won yesterday, would you have done um, a video condemning um, Mikel Arteta? I've done these videos. I think this is the 10th video um, about Mikel Arteta and how not, you know, how not good, should I say, uh, he is. So this is not the first video, uh, Alex. It's not the first video. Uh, it isn't. It is the first video. Um, Edward, you said Mikel need to change. Meanwhile, he will not take us where we need to be, and the club, its administrators, need to leave our club. 
um, I talked about the administration when I think it was about Dangote and I said um, how Dangote could change Arsenal and I said the first thing you got to do is to change the management um, and if you still remember um, I think here you have not been watching videos I said if you watch the Dangote video I said the, the, the one thing you've got to do and ask if you want to correct everything is go down to the roots and start approaching um, all the mistakes that have been done for the past two decades that is what th that is how you correct arsenal that is how you get back um the arsenal you want because ever since 2004 the picture around this club has changed the you know the the mediocrity has changed um you know now we, we, we are settling for less you know you, you just feel like you know what um as long as this club can finish things you know many people i i wanted to do a video about top six is over but then i, I was like are we really talking about top six is over as us no are we are we settling for top six then i said no i won't do that video so kiema i did that i've done those videos and i'll do the do them again and i said even if he wins the europa league if, if you watch this video i said even if he wins the europa league that doesn't justify anything we have had a rough season courtesy of mistakes individual mistakes that you could see a manager needs to clear out uh, for us to be um you know to be on the right road um with since the emmy another person that i can snap my fingers and say uh he's been there i don't know whether emmy is yeah but you've been there emmy and you, you're saying michael at it out and you've been at it out you know I, I still remember you in december um you've been at it out um this is Binu actually um L uh, lyric Lokesh, this is Binu, and Binu, the live the live streams are back. I, I know you're one of these people who really love the channel. I love the live streams. So the live streams are back. Um, as soon as internet gets sorted, and then I sort out, you know, these streaming issues, we are going to get running. Um, you're right. Uh, we need Biosa, and this is Katumba Geoffrey. And and the reason I say Biosa was not, you know, because I think Biosa worked hard. I think we need a person like Marcelo Bielsa because if you look at Bielsa he's been in Spain he's been at Marseille uh, in, in France he's been at Roma in Italy he's now at Leeds and if you look at the, the job he's doing at Leeds you just know he needs an upgrade in quality you, you, you just know he needs to upgrade in quality if you can if you can give him that upgrade because it's, it would be massive to go from the likes of the, the quality of Patrick Bamford uh, to the likes of Pierre Mkabameyang it would be just massive so you just add in one or two you know one two or three players uh for Maceo Biosa because he's working with an upgrade in quality you expect an upgrade in in in, in results um and that's why you know you're gonna fight to take him away from Leeds however much um Leeds might lose games and and and, and you, you can see they have a style of football they have they have a, a way of lining up they were they have a way of setting up and that's and, and that's all you need that's all you need to get a consistent run and we cannot get a consistent run of games if you don't have, you know, um, that identity as a club. And for me, Mikel Arteta, he has a blueprint. He shows something he wants to do, but he's not capable of achieving it um, at the moment. Um, Stefan Jr., you said, for sure, I feel like quitting as well, but I can't. Uh, don't quit. Let's not quit Arsenal because yeah, there's so many clubs that have been there. I, I remember Chelsea finished 10th. By the next season, they won the league. That's the, that's the difference, um, and 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 that is how ambitious Chelsea are, and that is how you know less ambitious we are. Because for Chelsea, look look, they, they, they brought in Kepa. I think it was around sixty million or fifty-seven million. I I, I don't remember, but, but it was almost a record fee uh, of a goalkeeper Chelsea, and he didn't work. And now they have a new they have a new a new goalkeeper they don't settle for less and and us know the problem is uh we are settling for less um my boss my, my boy mr pejas hi says how are you doing bro i'm, I'm, I'm great um i'm great uh ali roba says let the owners of the club buy it because um they can't manage uh it as well as we wish yeah i think um we've talked about it and i'll talk about it when i i, I do a stream about dengote and and uh, and, and Krowenke. Dangote as a fan, because let me tell you something, and, and this is outrageously crazy because it, it might not happen, but if the president of Randa bought this club, um, Kagame, the love he has for Arsenal, the expectations he has for Arsenal as a club would be so great. But 
Krowenke is not interested in how this club performs. He's interested in um, how much money it makes. And that is the only hope we have that with FFP coming in and, um, and uh, you know, being scrapped and then you have, um, you know, this COVID-19 law says probably Krowenke could be forced to the world to sell. Uh, that's the only hope we have. That's the only, only hope we have. Um, so let's pray. In the, the, the rumors that in the summer we could have Dangote and, 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 and Krowenke sit down for talks. So l let's pray. Um, we could get something productive out of those talks um, there. Um, Collins, Collins Mugomba, you said, um, if Ateta goes in case he's fired, what happens to Krowenke? Does he keep hiding and firing coaches? Um, oh, that's Tim Krowenke. It's time to go. It's over for 13 years. Uh, the club is declining. I admire Abramovic. Yeah, of course, you, you, you've got to admire the, uh, the business model at Chelsea. They're just fantastic, aren't they? Um, Samuel Tusubira, you said Arsenal Club is a comedian club, uh, which is not um, about result, but only profits are giving excuses uh, to its followers or supporters. Big up, uh, Samuel. That is a well-thought comment. Um, if I was on live stream, uh, I would love to. Uh, I would love you to come on um, uh, and air your thoughts. But I know um, at some point in time we will be there. Um, Tommy Case, yeah, you said so bad, man. This team and the manager are not good enough for this football club. Uh, Bits, you said I would like to join you in discussions, and I said uh, the live streams are coming back, so uh, the links will be provided. Samuel Enuka, you said he is. Um, uh, he 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 need nice players. But yeah, of course. You might need nice players. You might need the good players. And I think, uh, I've, I've said this before, that the quality we have at Arsenal is not the worst. It's not the worst. But the manager has failed to organize that quality uh, to take us to the levels where that quality can take us. You see, United cannot say they're going to win the title because the qu their quality does not beat City. And it doesn't beat Liverpool for me. Uh, I think Liverpool have just been struggling. But if Sosha makes them finish third, that is where that quality takes them now they are second and they, they have all reasons to be second because they're not better than city in terms of the manager in terms of the the investment they have done in terms of the the quality of the, they're not better than city but we we, are, we must be better than west ham i'm telling you for facts we shouldn't be struggling with aston villa no we are better than that um Ateta must go he's clueless that is um uh galazima peterson the rock said Ateta is not good for us no because he that's why I, I, that's what i can say um johnny anderson said thanks and samuel anuka said Ateta is not a problem of us no and there are four replies there so guys thank you so much um for all those people that commented um i just feel like i wanted to do a channel update so the live streams are coming back continue getting the polls um and answering those polls I have asked you which kind of content do you want? Should we do three live streams a day and an upload, or should we do two uploads and two live streams a day? I'll I'll try to consider your thoughts, and as well tell me which people you would like to see on this channel in 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 form of collabs. I've, 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 I'm I'm thinking of uh, people around me, people like AJ90, people like um, Glenn, uh, Kately, everything Arsenal, people like. Um, uh, the Guna Express, people like, uh, the, the other people that are, are very close, uh, Guna Small Talk, the Guna, she's called the Guna Girl, I think there's someone called the Guna Girl, and they really love her content. Um, so we'll be getting those people on, uh, you know, in the end, probably, um, we'll be able to get in people like the Lou Dead, people like um, Takish, because I really love the thoughts of Takish, and uh, he's a real one. Um, R.I.P. Cloud. I would have brought him on the channel. I loved him. I really, really loved Cloud. But I'll bring on um, Ty. Uh, Ty is easy to bring on. And also, um, yeah, I think. So tell me which people. Give me subge some suggestions of names, you, you know, of the people you would like to, to see on the channel. And then um, we will get the ball rolling.